I honestly think that one of the best performances we ever did was when we beat Man U five at Goodison. The Man United game is most probably one of the games that I've played in where you felt so confident in it that it could have been more. We beat them five and we were brilliant. Strachan there, Robson, yeah. uh, Stapleton. Remy Moses, Olsen's, what, you know, full of, full of top players. You know, how would we say, Trevor, have a chance, get the ball in the box. Sheed's the same for you. And it was like, wow, just for us, Andy, myself, Adrian, to get up the end, it was incredible to play. And in that 5 0 game, you know, that could have been more than five. And it just everything we touched, you know, was just leading to goals. We absolutely. Battered them, they got away with five, it could have been seven or eight. We just, everybody just performed to their maximum on the day. And that was the best individual team performance I've been involved in, in, in terms of quality. They couldn't, they could not deal with us. They could not, our, our energy was too much, our quality was too much. Uh, our finishing was, was not only uh, great, it was also brave. I remember scoring two goals. Uh, one in particular was a header from just inside the box, which anybody saw me play, that wasn't my forte, certainly. Extremely brave with his head. Uh, and that was symptomatic of what we were, what we were all about. And Sheeds even getting headers, so that's, you know that things are going well when Sheeds is... And getting cuts, by the way. I wasn't sure to what to do. The next thing I, I knew, it had just rocketed in the, the back of um, you know, like Gary Bailey's net. And uh, I went down, um, ended up having to go off and have four stitches. And I later found out that Kevin Moran, who was a good, good mate of mine, for, played with the, the Republic of Ireland, he said he couldn't get to the ball, so his way of putting, putting me off was to head but the back of my head. So that generated all the power, and hence it went in the top corner. So. Uh, it was a freak, a freak of, uh, of a goal. Everyone else in the team and the squad, I think you could have put somebody in their place, but I think with Sheeds, I don't think you could have. I don't think there was anybody else you, you could have bought that was any good, the same with Sheeds. When he gets on the ball with his left foot, there's just nobody like him. I broke played it to Agent Heath and then he slotted me in and I finished left foot across Gary Bailey. Vastly underrated of, of what he does and I have seen him tackle twice. flying at that particular time and um, the stadium was on fire it was like it's one of them places that you know when when it's like that there's nowhere like it I still think it's the most atmospheric ground in the country bar not We went out, some days knowing we was going to win. We just had that self-belief as a group. Don't think we played with any individualists. We all worked very hard for each other. Went out as a team. And done a job as a team. Yeah, the quality of football um, and the goals we were scoring, I notched on that day as well, so I hope you're going to come on to that in a minute, are you? And 
Sharpie, for some reason, always against Paul McGrath and Kevin Moran, had a tremendous game. He was just maybe one of their players that they didn't like playing against. He was like, phew. yeah, he, he was on fire. Everybody on that day just clicked. <laughs> The belief in the, the change room, coming in afterwards, it was like everybody was lively and, you know, then they'd be into the players' lounge and all the dads and everything were in there and it'd be lively again in there. And the place was just moving along, moving along, getting stronger and stronger as the season progressed. And it got to a stage where, as I said, we, we, thought, we thought they were invincible.